Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about tracking. Uh, how to use trackers, how to make sure to track your campaigns, and the overall flow to make sure that the data you're getting back uh, tells you what you need to know. It tells you where you're making money, where you're losing money, where you should increase your budget as well as decrease your budget. Okay, so here we have the basic flow, right? This affiliate tracking flow. And the way this works is that the user comes to your, you know, it, 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 let's say we're using Facebook ads as the traffic source. So they basically come to a Facebook ad, they see a Facebook ad in the newsfeed, and then they click on the ad. The ad go, uh, uh, redirects them to the landing page, right? We're assuming that we're using a landing page in this example. The landing page may have a quiz or maybe it has an email opt-in, uh, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, they're redirected to the offer and then they have that normal flow on the merchant side. So they might have a checkout page here where they pr purchase a product. And so this is the typical flow, right? If you think about this, and this is how it works. Now, when you're using a tracker such as Volume or BMOB, uh, it's a little bit different because the tracker basically intercepts everything that's happening, right? So in this case, Every time, you know, there are clicks that are happening, so the user clicks on the Facebook ad, they're basically clicking on the tracker's URL that redirects them to the landing page. So instead of this kind of direct flow, they're basically, you know, being intercepted by the tracker at every step and turn. So uh, they click on the, on the ad, the, they're basically clicking on the URL provided by the tracker, the tracker records the click, redirects them to the landing page, uh, they browse the landing page, they click on the offer, it's, it's again, it's a URL provided by the tracker, the tracker tracks the click, and then they're redirected to the, um, to the offer page, the merchants page, and at that point, uh, they are, you know, they're out of our control, right? The only thing that happens really interesting is, if they actually buy something, you know, there is an event, so an event gets fired, from the merchant, it gets fired to the max bounty and then eventually to us. And so if there is a purchase or like a CPA event, submission of an email or, you know, whatever, whatever the event is, because sometimes it's an email submit, other times it's actually like a product uh, sell, like a product purchase. Uh, we record that right here. There's, a, there's a, a functionality to record and that's very useful for us, right? Because we can basically track everything that happens from the, the time they click and all the data that we collect, and then if, if we have a purchase, we can bas basically tie it back to the user and, and figure out, you know, what ad set they clicked, what keyword they clicked, uh, you know, what, what was, you know, sometimes the, 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 uh, adver the traffic platforms even provide us with, you know, the cost of that actual click and all that. So there's a lot of data that we can combine, right? So without the tracker, you basically don't have this, right? None of this happens. There's no reporting back. Uh, with the tracker, you basically, you're in control of everything. So I got my BMOP here set up, right? I have some sample campaigns. And the first thing that you have to do is you have to set up your traffic sources, right? Because this is where it all begins. So I got my Google AdWords, I got my Facebook, I got my YouTube, I got my Bing set up. Uh, once I set that up, then I can, I can set up my affiliate networks, right? I also need to set that up. I have my click ba bank and I have my max bounty. Uh, then I have my landing pages. I can have, you know, as many as I want. I have several here and then I have my offers and then I have my offers here. Once I have all these elements set up, so I basically have four things to set up. Traffic sources, affiliate networks, offers, and landing pages. Obviously landing pages is an optional step and you can redirect them directly to the offer, uh, you know, from the ad, but I don't really recommend that. Only use that in very, very rare cases. I typically prefer to, you know, have a landing page because it gives me greater control. I can, I can, you know, cycle through the landing pages. I can, you know, optimize different landing pages. I can create three landing pages and then see which landing pages convert better and then just send all that traffic. So it gives you a lot more control. So we have four things, traffic sources, affiliate networks, landing pages, and offers. And then once we, we set up basically these four things, you create something called a campaign, which is kind of a combination of it all. So I have this Facebook sweeps campaigns. 
Uh, you, you probably could already tell that I, I love these sweeps campaigns that I've been talking about them in, in a lot of these videos. And so what you do is if we edit that campaign, you can see that we basically, we have the name, we have the traffic source, country, US. Um, we have cost model, you don't need that, currency, US dollar. And then we have the, mo the, the really important things. We have a built-in flow that we use, right? So you can have a URL here which is just a destination URL, but I have something called a flow, a built-in flow. You can also create flows separately, right? It, it could be another element in, in your kind of structure. But I basically create a built-in flow and then I and I specify how it's gonna work, right? So I have two landing pages. I have the home improvement lander and, a, and another kind of, three, you know, win a $300,000 grand prize lander. And I like that lander better. So I'm sending 100% of the traffic there and I have two offers. I have this offer and this offer, and I'm sending 100% of the traffic here. So once I configure this campaign, what I can do is I can basically, I can basically uh, highlight this campaign, click on campaign links, and then it's gonna give me a bunch of links. So I have this click URL that's used on the landing page to redirect to the offer. If you have multiple um, offers, you can have kind of these multi-offer click URL that you could just replace the numbers. You know, number one is for the first offer, number two is for the second offer and so on. And then you get these post back URL. You have the secure uh, post back URL and you have the regular post back URL. You have some pixels too, uh, post back script as well. So, the, so first you have the campaign URL, right? This URL is what you give to the traffic source, right? Now this is configured with Facebook, so it's gonna have stuff like ad set name, campaign name, and you basically use that link in your ads when you're configuring your ads. And this is very important because Facebook basically, at the time you know, at the time of the click, Facebook basically replaces these variables, right? These parameters with the actual names. So every time, you know, every time your ad is displayed in the newsfeed or wherever, Facebook, you know, dynamically replaces these things with the actual name. And this is why, you know, obviously you don't need a tracker to do this, but, you know, that's the beauty of having a tracker is that it knows, right? You can figure a Facebook traffic source. It knows what the actual variables that are, that need to be displayed so that it replaces them. And then you have this test URL. And when you're testing, you should be using this test URL so that you're not getting the clicks, right? You're not getting like random data in your campaigns, right? So, and this should be the live URL. And then you have click URL, and then you have these post back URLs, right? And then let's say we go to Max Bounty, right? This is an offer that I really like. I ran it for a while. I may run it again, or I might try another offer. I've had decent success with this offer, 150,000, and it says 150,000, but then it says 300,000. So, you know, I use 300,000, but you know, you may want to check with your affiliate manager. You build the link here. Uh, you click on social, raw link and you have a link, you copy this here. And this would be the link that you paste uh, when you're creating the offer, right? When you're creating the offers in this BMOB or whatever tracker you, you have this offers here. When you create this individual offer, you're gonna be basically putting that URL so that the tracker knows where to redirect the data to. And then at each, uh, basically on each offer that you configure, you have these sub IDs, right? Uh, sub IDs are fine if this is kind of very primitive type tracking. Sub ID is basically is so sub ID one can be used for reporting within Max Bounty. And what you basically do is it's a way to track, let's say, you know, your traffic source or any kind of data you want. So like sub ID one could be Facebook, sub ID two could be, you know, a particular ad you're using and all that. But if you're using a tracker, you don't need any of that because when you're using a tracker, you basically have to put in a uh, type. Uh, you know, you have this post, no, no post back set, you have URL and HTML. Um, I like URL, right? URL is recommended unless, you know, your tracking system does not give you a URL, but in our case, we do have URL. So we pick URL here and then we submit this URL that we get from uh, the tracker. So we have this post back URL and secure post back URL. So, you know, I would just take the secure post, we, we copy that and we go ahead and paste it here. And what's gonna happen is, basically the way this works is that, uh, this is really cool, is that when the user initially clicks on the ad, what the tracker does, it assigns it a unique ID, right? It assigns it a unique ID. 
And so it could basically track the complete flow of the user. Um, and then when they basically make a purchase, you know, we get that unique ID because we provide it to, you know, the, to Max Bounty, right? Because Max Bounty knows about this unique ID. And what Max Bounty does at the end is that it says, okay, this unique ID made a purchase. It returns us the unique ID, right, in this postback URL, which we have here. As you can see, there's a CID and it's S2. And this basically is the unique ID. And then we get the payout. So we basically get the UID, uh, the unique ID of the user, and then we have the payout. So obviously in some cases we already know the payout. This is one dollar. Actually, this was this was more before. Um, this was like two dollars or two fifty before. So they I guess they lowered it. Bonus guaranteed EPC. Okay, so they lowered it a little bit. Uh, so basically, it's going to dynamically return to us the unique ID and the payout. And that way, you know, we don't have to go at the end of the day and go through this campaign and go and look up the unique ID, uh, the, the payout, and update it manually. We get that data dynamically generated by us. And there's also a couple of other parameters, uh, transaction ID and status. But I'm not sure, uh, you know, what, what those are. They're, they're, they could be reserved for some... Uh, special things that are happening. But the main ones is this uh, CID and the payout rate. And this is how it works all across uh, this tracking, the all of these affiliate tracking networks. Uh, ClickBank has a similar thing where you basically go into the ClickBank um, settings in the in the back end and you basically submit your, you, you give it your, um, you know, me, uh, this the tracker URL so that it knows where to post back to. Because if you don't submit this, it's not going to be able to give you this data back. And you want this data, right? You want to know what's going on, right? And then once once you have, and this is the beauty of it, once you have the Facebook ad, like so right here, we have our Facebook ad. And, you know, obviously this campaign is linked to Facebook because if we edit it, if we click on edit, you're going to see that it's a combination of traffic source Facebook. If we replace this with Bing, we're gonna have a different URL, right? We're gonna have a URL with different parameters. Uh, parameters are gonna be, you know, like the ad name, the ad group name, the campaign name, maybe even the keyword that generated the sale and things like that. So completely different parameters. But since this is a traffic source Facebook, you know, our uh, campaign link is gonna have these, these variables here. And this is the beauty of it is that this is why I really like it is that when they click on the ad, we get these initial parameters, and then we have the landing page. And if we have multiple landing pages, the system is gonna know which landing page the user came to. And then we have the offer page, they're gonna know which offer it. Because remember guys, you can, you are gonna have multiple ad sets, you're gonna have multiple ads on this level. Then on the landing page, you might have like, you know, three to five different landing pages. And then the offer, as well, right? You might have three offers that you're promoting, right? And then you, you know, when you are actually configuring your tracker, your campaign, you can actually say something like, you know, like in my case, I'm just using one landing page, but you could do something like 50% here, you know, and 50% here. And then you can create the new, you know, add the new landing, right? I can have a new landing and I already, you know, let's say I have some other landing pages that I'm using here and 50 50 and then i can have offers right i can go to max bounty i can look up maybe you know three or four different sweepstakes offers because i don't want to put my all my eggs in one basket right i don't want to just like go on that offer what happens if that offer expires right it happens a lot you get an email this offer has expired you know you got to do something else so this is extremely extremely powerful and we could split traffic between 50 50 here right and now we have, you know, a combination of two landing pages and two offers. And, you know, maybe one user goes to this landing page, the second user goes to this landing page, then the first user goes to this offer, then they go to that offer, and then maybe they clicked on this ad set. Um, and then, you know, maybe the same ad set, different ad or different ad set. So there's a lot of interesting things happening here. And the beauty of using a tracker is that you get the user ID, you get the, the click ID, right? All, all of these um, affiliate programs, affiliate networks, they have a click ID. So in this case, it's a CID. And this S2 is, is a placeholder. It's gonna get generated by the tracker. 
the tracker now now of course you can do it by yourself right you can you can basically do it manually right if you want you can basically uh, create your own app or maybe create a bunch of scripts and you can assign your own click ID and then you can give your own post back where you know you tell um, Max Bound to here you know use this as a placeholder and give us the click ID back so that we generate it we give it to Max Bounty and then Max Bounty returns us with the click ID you can do that yourself but that's the beauty of using a tracker is that you can track a lot of these crazy things when I, now when I started with affiliate marketing long long time ago um, I wasn't using Facebook ads I was using different traffic sources but I was typically using like one landing page one offer in the beginning but later on I learned that I can use like maybe three to five landing pages right because you know marketing affiliate marketing any kind of marketing is really all about testing right there's not a lot of certainty you don't know what's going to work until you test that's uh, applicable to facebook ads applicable to landing pages offer pages you don't really know what's going to convert you just have to test right and with this system you can put you know five landing pages five offers uh and then you can you can send them to different offers and you know t test different interests uh different ad sets you know i recommend uh, as you know, using one interest per ad set. And so you have a really, really robust and really kind of effective system for testing. And so if you have one offer that's not working, you know, let's say you have three offers and none of them are working, then you know that, that something is wrong, right? Uh, maybe that this kind of sweepstake type offer is really not designed for your traffic source or maybe your targeting is off or something is not working. But if you only are promoting one offer, and it's not working, then you don't really know where the problem is. Is it the offer? Is it your traffic source? So it really kind of gives you this uh, this element of stability because if you have multiple things, you, 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 can, you have a lot of data to work with and you can figure out combinations that are working. So you can figure out maybe there's an ad set here that's working better, best with this landing page, best with this offer, and you could create all of these reports uh, in your in your kind of campaigns and all of these trackers they work very very similar you have volume which which is very very similar i believe it has some extra features uh for for some tracking i think it has some extra features as far as i know but i'm i've been using this i've had good success with it and you can you can use any tracker you want there's also click magic which you can use as well but they all work pretty much the same right they all give you this post back url and you can you put that here and you're gonna get back the click id and you're going to have a really kind of robust tracking system. And that's really like, a, you know, the first thing with affiliate marketing is testing. And the second thing is tracking, right? And they're kind of, you know, combination, right? So you'll be able to know right away what's working. So this is kind of what I wanted to talk about today is the importance of tracking, the importance of having a post back URL, give you like an overview of how everything works so you know if you you know so that you're now no longer confused because i know a lot of guys are confused with how the trackers work or whether you should be using them or not and i'm here to tell you that if you are sending traffic to max bounty without a tracking url without this post back url you're definitely leaving money on the table so you definitely want to track everything because otherwise you just don't know what's working and what's not working all right guys so that's all I have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, definitely click like. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be making a lot of videos about tracking, affiliate marketing, Google Ads, Bing Ads, all kinds of traffic sources, all kinds of affiliate marketing stuff, and also things like SEO, pay-per-click, everything like that. So if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to enjoy some of the future videos that are coming up. So again, thank you so much for your time and I'll talk to you soon.